Definitely the, the fan base is growing, you know, um, we've been doing it for a while now, uh, like 10 years traveling, but this year was totally new regions, you know, I mean, like, this year when we did five shows in six days in different countries, you know, so it's like all during the year, every weekend we're out somewhere else, somewhere new, new fans, and, and this has been, I mean, obviously a great thing for the band. Um, and, and what I like about it is that what less facilitates people getting to know us, getting to know our other sides, you know, so they, they know what less, okay, let me see what else they have. And they, you know, they get to know me, you know, just as Bobby that's got, got to know a little piece of who we are, you know, today. For me, I don't really, next year is next year. And uh, I deal with the moments I know. I'm writing for next year. But uh, you can't, as a writer, you cannot judge a song. Next year is next year. You know, if so happen at a topic, great. That's always the goal. And if not, cool. But my aim is to top it and it grew and get even bigger. I think it was, a, I was in a band called Imaging Company. Um, and I sang a song called, song called Pushback. I always remember that um, it was huge in New York and like a few other places. Uh, whoa, whoa, yeah, push back, put a wine on somebody. Uh, I come for a test, girl, a piece of that waist. And I was really into the groovy, 
you know, the groovy, like, as I said, it, uh, influenced by Edwin Yearwood from Barbados. And this was my style into soca, my R&B style. And, um, so that song really, people got listening. And ever since we've been experimenting and uh, not limiting ourselves, like last year we did a, um, uh, I did a track with Tessa and Chen called Loving You, um, which is a new reggae genre. We did a lot of dance and house and stuff like that. Um, and then Soka has been growing. A song called Right Day was, was a big year for us. Um, Let that music hit your right day. Uh, Tonda, Jepsting, Jepsting, Naina. Um, and then this year was amazing. You know, this year we, 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 we got the masses with what less than a thing. But then we pushed the envelope with Just Show Me Where You're From. With the pop mixed, pop mixed with, with Soka, which is a new movement. You know, where an international market can a little more understand what we're trying to do here. Um, that was a deliberate experiment on, on Marshall's and on my behalf, just to see what we could do with this, you know, and uh, it, it definitely proved successful. I think, it's, I think this year has been amazing, overwhelmingly receiving. I think people realize that music is not, a, is not limited. Um, there will always be songs that is roots for your country. It's always going to have songs that you're whining into and nobody else going to understand and that's just our thing. But they're going to have these songs that really... I mean, we have to really pattern yourself after dancehall and reggae, if you really understand what they do. Um, they have these songs that made it to the top 40, the Sean Pauls with the, you know, the Beyonce's and stuff. And then they have, you know, cartel in the streets, and where Jamaica would understand that. Um, so we're not supposed to limit ourselves. I think a lot, has, a lot of people try to break over soca, but not, not everybody's experimenting at the same time. I think everybody needs to push the envelope, because we never know where it could go. So my thing is, experiment. Feel free to do it. Soka will always be Soka. We we'll always had our feel, you know. And I, I believe that, but it, it could only grow and it only get better. To me, no matter what, once we, I for instance, that track, where you're from, I started all oh, my that girl and step to the front. I always come bring that element into it. And the fact is, I can go back from an artist in Trinidad and Tobago called David Rudder. I mean, Charlie's Roots. Back in the day, they found they found that he was combining too much R&B into his Soka, and now he's foundation. When Bob Marley did reggae, you know, Dennis Brown was the man. Bob Marley was combining rock and stuff. And to Jamaica at the point in time, it was kind of sell out. But Bob Marley now is foundation reggae. So you never know, but it is global. So you never know, the soca might change its form and change it. It's still growing. I want the world to know soca. And if this is the way to do it, why not? You know, and I, I love pop, I love dance, I love rock, but I love soca too. So I put in it all together and let's see what we get. Traveling the Caribbean more this year, I've seen how much more we have in common than different. In Trinidad, we had the Bayesian invasion, you know. I mean, there was a year, Bobby does just take over Trinidad then, you know. Um, Alison, Rupi, everybody passed through, you know. And um, I think that embracing culture is very important because here it is, now in Barbados, I look in to do collaborations with artists from Barbados, artists from St. Vincent. We're meeting on tours, we're talking, and we realize we want the same for Soka as everybody else. So I encourage that. So if Barbados can let more people in, and same vice versa on all the islands, this could be a booming industry. I think we need to not think about busting in the world and being big in Europe and the States. We need to concentrate on our region and make our region a sustainable entity. In a sense, the Global market will look to us and be like, yo, they're selling, they're selling records, what the Caribbean saying, but we need to come together for that. So I want us to come together, and that is coming together. Yeah. You wanna talk? Come on, I'm